Okay, so today we are gonna be bottling some wine. That's up next. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne. And Lori. And this is Healthy Farm Living. So we're here today, it's actually the beginning of September, it's Labor Day weekend. It is. 2020. And we're actually here with the kiddos today. So we have Austin and his girl Nikki with us, so we actually have a couple helpers. Yes. Because we have a whole lot of work to do, don't we? Yes. Like a lot of work to do. <laughs> <laughs> we have all of this wine that we need to get bottled. So the only thing we're missing, we had some issues with this wine trying to re-kickstart fermentation this week, which is why I'll link the video here. Last time we actually talked about these wines, tested them, and we also did some back sweetening on all of them, and we needed to make sure we weren't going to kickstart fermentation. So this one tried to re-kickstart fermentation on us, so we added some yeast inhibitor in there just to make sure and do the best we can to make sure this doesn't blow any corks off of some bottles. We don't want that happening. So what we need to do is we need to get these bottled. Now what you'll see behind us is you will see the bottles. So right now we have a total of, I think, over 80, 80. bottles. So we got over 80 bottles there. Should be plenty of bottles for what we need to get done here today. Mm -hmm. So we've got this one ready to go. So what you're gonna see, the bottles behind us have been completely washed and sanitized. So they are ready for wine to go into them. So now that sanitizer will actually help us if there's a few more yeasties in there, it might kill a few of those off. So, but you'll see us uh, bottling these first, then we'll get to corking. So without further ado, uh, we're gonna go ahead and bottle some wine. All right. Let's, let's do this. Do Is our flame wine so you can see it's a beautiful white wine almost golden in color so I've got bottles we have these in our Amazon shop most of what you see here you'll find in our Amazon shop you can also find a local brewery place usually they have all these as well but Amazon obviously very convenient so I'm gonna go ahead and get these filled I don't know how many this is gonna take we're just over five gallons here but we're gonna go ahead and get started flame wine is down, now we need to get to the blackberry wine. So we're gonna go ahead and get to it. The flame wine is done, and the blackberry wine is done. This is our pomegranate wine, so we're gonna go ahead and get to it. Okay, so we got that done. Took a while, but we have 70 bottles of wine here. So that's a little bit of wine. So we're pretty excited about that. Now we've been letting them basically kind of air out, but we need to get these corked because we don't really want to get too much, ox too much oxidation on this wine at this point. So next step, we've got this hand corker here. We'll be using this. And we have corks, number eight corks, that are in our sanitation liquid right here. So what you're gonna see us do now is in the same order that we bottled these, we're gonna go ahead and get them corked. So that's up next. Thank you. 
here. So really excited to have these guys here. This is our son Austin, by the way, yeah. and his girl Nikki. So Nikki, Austin, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously you guys know Lori. So you can see it helps a lot to have family involved when you're dealing with bottling wine. So it was great having you guys here. Really appreciate that. Now, obviously these wines, we actually will not be drinking for a year. So uh, there's a lot of time between this and us sitting down for a nice dinner, I'm sure together, and enjoying this wine. Now, what, a couple things we'll be doing from here, these will go into boxes. They will remain standing up for the first 24 to 48 hours, and then we will lay them on their side and we'll actually keep <laughs> towels underneath them just in case we have a cork or two pop. We definitely don't want that going everywhere inside the house. Once we're done with that, they'll actually go into our wine racks on their sides to make sure that we don't have air and oxidation getting into the wine itself. One of the best parts about making your own wine is that you get to try it. So we're all going to try this blackberry wine for the first time. Well, putting it in the bottle for the first time. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Wait. Cheers. Oh, cheers. cheers. Yeah. Did we get everybody? Yeah. Yeah, we got everybody. We got it. Yeah. Let's try it. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really that's good. Really Nikki? Good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that's the real test is if Nikki likes it, that's saying something. That's good wine. Ooh. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Ooh, we back sweetened that, right? Yeah, we did good. Oh, that was a good back sweeten. Okay, the blackberry wine. Gotta do it. Really wanted to show you guys our fall vintages. We still actually have to show you from start to finish how we make our wine. We have some wines still, don't we? We do. Let's see, what do we have? I know we have our Manuka, right? Mm -hmm. We also have another grape. Thompson. Ooh, the Thompson. Yep. So we have the Thompson grapes. We also have figs. We're gonna do another fig wine. So we need to do a fig wine. Mm -hmm. We got figs and if we can get to it, we have plum. plum. Yeah, so a plum wine. So all of those came from our old farm. All those fruits we actually produced ourselves and all the fruits that created these wines we produced as well. Just wanna thank you guys for joining us today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comment section down below. Instagram and Facebook, we post content there that you won't see here on the YouTube channel. Our Amazon shop, you'll find a lot of the things that you saw here today in our Amazon shop. That's a free painless way to help support the channel. If you start with that link, it doesn't matter what you buy. You help to support us here. Our primary channel, Edge of Nowhere Farm, that's actually our farming channel. We show you how we actually produce all the fruit that made these wonderful wines. We'd love to see that. We'll actually leave a link for you down below. We just want to thank you for joining us today and remind you to be farm healthy. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay. This is awkward. Yeah. We added some more uh, of the yeast. Uh, Stopper. <laughs> inhibitor. It's a yeast inhibitor. Did you swish it? Oh, I did swish it. <laughs> swish. <laughs>